Hello everyone and welcome back to video number 5. In this video we're going to make the player jump. Before we do that though, I did notice a little problem in the game. And that problem is, is that if my character is facing in the left direction, and I press the green flag to go back to the starting position, the player is still pointing in the left direction. The good news is, is that there's a very easy fix for this. So remember our starting position block was right here. The only thing I have to do is go to motion and grab the point in direction block, connect it underneath, and if I click on 90, notice this is pointing to the right, so I can leave it at 90. And now when I press the green flag, the player will be facing in the right direction. So this is going to happen when you're making games, as you're going to notice little problems like this. But the good news is, in most cases, they are very easy to fix. So now let's move ahead and make this player jump. So the first thing I want to do is create a variable. So I can go over here to the Variables tab, and I want to click on Make a Variable, and I want this variable to be called Gravity. And the nice thing about a variable is it doesn't have a specific value. We can change the value of this variable. So what I want to do is grab another when the green flag is clicked block. So that one's under Events. And then what I want to do is go back to the variables. And at the beginning of the game, I want to set the gravity to zero. So all I'm doing is initializing this value. So at the beginning, gravity is equal to zero. So then what I want to do is go over to control, and I want to add a forever loop underneath the gravity set to zero. And since gravity always pulls down in the real world, we want to do the same thing in the game. So what I'm going to do is go up to motion, and I'm going to grab the change y block, put it in this forever loop, but instead of 10, what I can do is go to variables, grab gravity, and replace it with the 10. So what this is saying is throughout the whole game, the Y of the player, so whether the player goes up or down, will always change by gravity. And then what we want to do is change that gravity by negative 0.5. So remember, negative values pull the player down. So now, throughout the whole game, the player's position should be changing by negative 0.5. So if I press the green flag, notice the player does sink down and continues to stay at the bottom of the screen every time I press the green flag. So now what we want to do are make some conditions so the player isn't always being pulled through the ground. The first one is recognizing if the player is touching the ground that it should not be pulling down. So in order to do this, we're going to need an if-then loop. So we can go to Control, grab an if-then, and notice the change y by gravity and the change gravity by negative 0.5 automatically went within that if-then loop. We actually want that outside of the if-then loop because we want that happening forever, and not only when a condition is met. So now we want to do, if the player is touching the ground, then we want to set the gravity back to zero. We don't want the character to be pulled down. So in order to do this, we can go to Sensing. We're going to use the Touching Color block. And instead of this blue color, we want it to be the green of the ground. So in order to change this, I can click on the blue, and at the bottom, there's a color picking tool. So if I click that, notice it goes over to the stage and lets me choose a color within the game. So I'll choose that green for the grass or for the ground. So now, if the player is touching the ground, then I want to set the gravity to zero. So I'll go back to variables, set gravity to zero, and notice that now when I press the green flag, the player does not sink through the ground. Now what I want to do 
is say, if the space bar is pressed, I want the player to jump. So once again, I'm going to go over to control, grab an if then, and put it underneath the first if then. Notice these two once again went within that loop, so I want to grab those two, make sure it's underneath the if then loop. And for this one, there are two conditions. If the player's touching the ground, and if the space key is pressed, then I want to make the player jump. So in order to deal with two conditions, I'm going to need to use an operator. So if I go over to the operators tab, we can see the block that has and in it. So I'm going to take that, drag it after the if, and those two conditions were one, if the player's touching the ground, so I can duplicate that up there. And then two, if the space key is pressed. So I can find that block under sensing and then key space pressed. So if the player's touching the ground and the space key is pressed, then what I want to do is change the gravity to some positive number. So if I go to variables, set gravity to, and let's say 10. If I press the green flag now, my character can move. If I press space, the character does in fact jump. I'll see you in the next video.